Hello friends, it's Brad from AB Rusted Relics, and I'm coming at you today with an unboxing I did not plan on making. So, I went outside yesterday and was doing the dogs, and well, I checked the mail. This is Monday, so usually we have something. But I was not expecting to find another sketch box. As you can see at in some of my previous videos I have done a, a sketch box unboxing I was really excited to get it and I wasn't too excited once I unboxed it actually I was quite upset it was mostly paints poorly packed and so forth I only ordered it one time so I wasn't expecting it to get it I only did a one-time order but for some reason sketch box wanted to send me another one. So I went and canceled my order, made sure it was canceled this time, but I didn't feel like sending the box back. So I figured, well, how about we give them a chance to redeem themselves? Still not much shipping stuff in there, everything's loose, but maybe we got some better supplies. Let's open it up. This is a maze art box, and the cover art is by Alicia Sloan. And her Instagram is at UGH Alicia. And to me, it's pretty cool art. You got a funky llama, good use of colors. I dig it. Let's open her up. I already slid it. Sorry, you missed it. For time for the reveal. Money shot. Still a little sparse on the packing material, but better than last time. <coughs> Let's see what we got. There's a little art card. It says, create more, do better. I like that. As long as you're creating good stuff with your time. If you're wasting a bunch of time, you might not, you might not do better. But you might do better at art. So I guess it's all in the interpretation. Let me know what you think. It's a cool piece. Good use of color. And we have a list. We're not going to go through that. And on the list it tells you everything you're going to get in the box. And the approximate value. Or at least what they value at. First up is a Zig brush pen in white. Which I like. I've been wanting to get some more brush pens. So I can start practicing some more on my lettering and calligraphy. I do a lot with fountain pens. Well, not a lot. I do most of my calligraphy with fountain pens. But I don't get a chance to do it a lot. Next up. Another set of Zig brush markers. And these are the Brushables line. Pretty cool. It looks like these are dual tip. Let's open them up. We'll pull everything out and then we'll test a few of these products out and see how they perform. So far, I'm already liking it better than last month's box. But I'm not going to be getting more because I don't really think they're quite worth the value. But if they want to send me a few free ones or something, I'll take them and I'll do some reviews. <laughs> they're just big brushables. Blue is your fat tip. Nice and, and nice uh, firm feel to it. And we have your smaller point. And actually it looks like these are two different colors. A lighter blue and a darker blue. Which I like that. So you can make some good color contrast. And some shading and so forth. And we'll test those out in a minute. Up next... We have another brush marker, and this one is light gray, and this one is by Kuretake. 
I'm guessing that is a Japanese company. And here it says made in Japan. So I was correct. And nice thing about both these is they come looks like they come preloaded with paint or ink. So that's a really cool plus. And now I don't know if they're refillable. I'm hoping they are. It looks like this one perhaps looks like they both might be refillable. If you've tried these out before and you can refill them, let me know. Next we have this big, bad, triograph, three-sided wood pencil with a mega, mega lead. This is cool. I'm not exactly sure if you could use a sharpener for this or if you could only hand sharpen. But either way, it's a nice looking pencil. It was made in the Czechoslovakia and made by Kohenor. Koenora Triograph 2B. We're going to bring that in and do some tests with it. <laughs> and here we have ooh, a Sketchbox Signature. So this is a Sketchbox exclusive signature brush pen. And it's come loaded with green ink. I'm excited to test that out. We're getting low in the box. Let's pull the rest of that packing stuff out. We have the sticker. That was like a good sticker. Throw that up on my sticker. Sticker wall, sticker. Not my sticker wall, but my sticker pen cabinet. I have a pen cabinet and I put all my stickers on and magnets. And the last in the box is the Karen Brush Marker Pro. I am quite a bit pleased with this lot. I would definitely would have been more happy with this getting it the first time. But yeah, I'm going to test some of this out. Oh, before we do, I'm going to, you can go on here on Sketchbox. They also send you this card and give you some tutorials on how to use your new supplies. And they also value each one of these supplies. Let me know if you think these are good values or are they a little high. For the Kurataki Zig brushes, they value those at fourteen sixty-six. The Sketchbox Signature Pen, they value at seven dollars. The Kurataki Zig brush, they value at eight. This one at nine. The brush marker, two dollars and five cents. And the Kohenor 255. Then you, let me think. Let me know if you think that is our accurate prices, or if they're a little inflated for appeal. Let's test some of these supplies out. The paper we're going to be using is Bianfang calligraphy parchment paper. It's a thicker paper, 24 pounds, and I think it should be able to handle the markers. First up, say we should test the brushables. First up, we're going to test out navy. And that was the navy blue. Good line different differentiation, thin, very wide. Colored, light and dark, like the navy. So far, I'm really liking the Zig Kurataki brush markers. Up next, let's try out your blue. Now, I did this, we did 
Now we're going to test out Splash. So far we've done Navy and we have done Pier Blue. Once again, we're doing Splash. That was Splash. On to the final marker in the Kiritaki Brushable Set, and this is Powdered Blue. And there we have the Kiritaki Brushables Dual Tip Marker. I am very pleased. Great colors. If you ask me, I just say my favorite has to be mm, the True Blue. Right there. All right, on to the next. Next up, we are going to open up a brush pen and see how she works. And I, I apologize. For some of my lines, I am still getting used to brush pens. I'm much more used to a fountain pen, and I'm also getting used to holding my paper and pen at a certain angle so you guys can see it. Otherwise, it would be much better. I know, I think I'm full of it, but it's true. On to the Kiritaki small brush pen. Not real familiar with these, I haven't used them very often. Let's give her a whirl. Close, it says twist to the left to close, twist to the right to open. Pop this safety ring off that prevents the ink from going into the pen. And then we're gonna screw this on and it should be ready to write. See the ink starting to go into the reservoir. You can squeeze it and prime it a little bit. And there is a thing in there to shake it. And this, honestly, is probably going to do better on a darker paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test it right over this color sample. Nice firm squeeze to get that ink going. Ah, whoopsie. Now that she's primed, let's give her a test. This pen is going to be great for highlights, adding light to stuff, making 3D, and so forth. I'm going to write Big Bad Brad. While you're writing, it bubbles out along the point, and I don't like it. But 
Once I learn this pen, it might be a little funner, but as of now, I'm not the biggest fan. On to the next. Bristles. Let's see it start to fill. Maybe it's even better to fill with the cap on. It don't seem like it's getting as much air to it with the cap. Reservoir is filling. A little paint on the brush tip. And this one seems a lot firmer than the previous ones. So I like quite a bit more. It actually looks like the ink. Much more of my head. I'm liking this Karen brush marker. Like much better. Last sample will be the Kohenor Hard Muck Triograph. And we're going to cut that out right here where we can fit in. I like the feel of it, good grip, good weight. Lays down like a number two pencil. 
not much line, not much color difference in the lines. You really have to put some boost around to get some of the dark colors. It's an overall feel. I love it. Not sure about the sharpening ability and how you sharpen this without the Susan a razor. But yeah, that's the Kohanoa hard mouth. So far, I am, well not so far, overall, I am very pleased with the quality of these items. They all performed well for the most part. There's a couple little things I didn't like, such as the ink drips from the brush pen, but I am much more satisfied with this box compared to last month's box. Overall, I would say Sketchbox redeemed themselves a little bit from last time. I'm a much happier customer, but I am not happier because I did not want this box. You hear that? I didn't want it. I didn't want to get charged twice. And I didn't want to go through the effort to sending it back. Well, there we have it. May's Sketchbox, much better than their paint box they sent me last time, but I will not be ordering more. If they would like to send me more, I'd love to review them and give an honest opinion. I like these supplies, but I think they may have been a little, just a little overvalued. Till next time, this is Big Bad Brad, and remember, as stated in this sketch box, create more, do better. Till next time, Big Bad Brad, Charmaine.